today we are looking at the lubuntu 25.04 plucky pluffin which is still not yet released so this is a daily build so i already mentioned and uh, i got all the information uh, in those videos of ubuntu 25.04 i covered every information like what its uh, release dates and when it's going to be released and other also like a kernel information and everything i discussed everything in those videos so this is just like a educational video purpose only so it's not recommended for you to use as a main pc in the main pc or work pc so it's a daily build so it's if you if you want to use it you can use it in the virtual machines but don't try it in the main pc or work pc because it should be having some issues sometimes so i tried the kubuntu and ubuntu but i didn't face any issues but still it's in the development process so it's better to try it in the virtual machines not in the main pc or work pc so if you want the all the information like a release date and everything so then go watch this video which is ubuntu 25.04 in my channel and if you want the changes like a whatever the kernel right now and all the applications and everything i'm going to show you uh, right now so this is the uh, lxqt you should be seeing the lxqt desktop environment let me show you the lxqt about the lxqt so you should be getting the latest version so let it load properly and here you can see there is like a minor lag and also i'm running it on the virtual machine which is a virtual box with a 60 GB of virtual disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5 1240p and in the VMware when you run it uh, the Ubuntu or Ubuntu flavor distros it's going to be having some issues like a minor lag sometimes the screen will be completely black so it's better to run it in the virtual box but if you want to still try it you can try it in the VMware but I ra rather recommend you to go with the virtual box and the LXQT version you get is a 2.1.0 which is the latest version and about the other things i already installed the fast fetch you can install the neo fetch but neo fetch is already ended so you can install the fast fetch so here you can see the lubuntu the code name for the 25.04 is the plucky pluffin and the kernel version you get is the 6.11 6.11 is the end of life right now so the latest version is 6.12.6 .6. i'm going to show you all those information and uptime it says like a six minutes it's more than six minutes because i installed it like a few minutes ago so it should be different and packages is uh, triple two zero dpkg and seven snap shell bash version you should be seeing the 5.2.37 my present monitor resolution is 1920 into 1080 with a 60 hertz desktop environment you already know it's a lx kitty window manager is a open box x11 and the themes icons you can easily read it just by pausing the video the terminal version is a uh, Q-Terminal 2.1.0. Here is the fonts, my CPU, which I already mentioned. Memory, it's consuming like a 1.04 GB, but it, it was like a six minutes uh, when I booted uh, on like a six minutes, uh, the RAM was almost like a 1.04. But when we type in uh, again, let me show you. Just type in the fast fetch again and uh, you should be seeing the exact uh, resources now uptime is almost 13 minutes and the ram consumption is around 1.75 gb so the ram is consuming almost like a 2 gb here is like a disk and everything and about the distro let's go up because i installed the inx s8 so this is how it installed and uh, here you can see inx was already installed so i just installed the fast fetch other than that i didn't install anything I kept everything as a default so here is our inxi-sv8 system let's go with the system first host it says like a lubuntu because we are running it as a live boot so that's the reason you should be seeing the lubuntu and the kernel you should be seeing 6.11 so right now in the daily build they are using the 6.11 but when we uh, get the stable release the version will be completely different i discussed everything in the ubuntu videos so if you want to watch those videos you can watch for that information or else for, for just the education purpose you can just watch these videos and it's a 64-bit compiler gcc version you get the latest 14.2.0 lxqt about the desktop lxqt you get the 2.1.0 and if you want the latest version of the lxqt uh, information you can just go to the official website of lxqt and you should be getting the latest version information there qt version you get the 6.7.2 window manager open box you get the version 3.6.1 and about the distro it says like a lubuntu 25.04 and the code name is plucky pluffin and it's based on ubuntu and uh, the host 
we already talked about everything so about the machine it says like a virtual box this is all the unnecessary information so i'm just going to skip all those things about the ram it's consuming 8 gb of uh, i'm using 8 gb of ram uh, the available ram is 7.7 .7. and uh, the consumption i already showed you the consumption it's consuming around 2 gb these are all the uh, things uh, which is like a past uh, few minutes ago so that's the reason I already typed near fetch uh, the fast fetch so to get the exact information or else you can open the uh, task manager or the Q terminal there is something different name for the uh, system monitor here which should be QPS so it's going it's going to show you the exact resources so it's consuming around like a 1.7 GB which is around like a 2 GB CPU here is the CPU information here is the swap uptime uptime is almost like a 17 minutes and here is the tree here is the thread so these are all the process and everything uh, right in front of you you can check it all, all the information here so i'm just going to close these things and uh, we're going to continue with the uh, terminal so here is the qps version 2.10.0 and uh, about the cpu which i already mentioned i'm using the i5 1240p cpu and these are all like a uh, vulnerabilities and flags which is clearly unnecessary and uh, about the graphics here you should be seeing the vmw gfx version is 2.20 and the display i'm using the x11 here is the x11 the server x arch version you should be getting the 21.1.14 and here is like a compositor picom version is 11 and what else we have my present monitor resolution i already mentioned i'm using the 1920 into 1080 and the available resolutions uh, will be right uh, down below the uh, uh, the uh, 1920 into 1080 and here you should be seeing the EGL version 1.5 and the open GL version you should be seeing the 4.5 here is the Mesa version which is the latest 24.2.8 and here is like a LLVM pipe if anything is important you can just pause the video I'm sitting far away from the monitor so I may be skipping one or two things so it's better to pause the video and read everything and about the audio you should be seeing the elsa right here and about the pipe wire version you get the 1.2.7 so compare the uh, ubuntu kubuntu and uh, the lubuntu videos i already made the three videos so you should be comparing and you should be judging on your own you don't need anyone to judge so here is like a network bluetooth drives partitions which is clearly unnecessary for the video here is like a repos and everything and shell bash version i already mentioned inx version you get the 3.3.36 init systemd version you get the 257 and uh, here is the complete information so let me close it let's close the terminal let's open the browser so for, so for the videos here is the video just type in like a 25.04 in my channel and here you should be seeing all those information so we are using the 6.11 kernel for this version so the 6.11 is the stable but it's end of life version so i it's going to be updated after a few days so you don't need to worry you should be getting like kind of like a 6.14 maybe i discussed everything so i forgot everything uh, because so the uh, ubuntu 25.04 video was like a month ago so i don't properly remember i think i provided all the information in the kubuntu description so you can check it out or else you can watch the ubuntu video so if you don't know what i'm talking like a mainline stable and the long term you just need to click on the releases and they will be providing all the description for whatever the kernel is called you should be seeing the description if it says like a long term here is the long term description if it says like a rc which is a release candidate or a pre-patch here is the pre-patch and mainline information if it says like a stable here is the description for the stable and in order to get the kernel you just need to type in uname dash r or else you can use the about semicolon support so you should be getting like a kernel information theme browser information like a what version you are using you should be using 133.0.3 and the browser will be also updated because i'm using the daily build so it's going to be updated as soon as the uh, browser uh, release the newer versions if the kernel releases the newer versions it's going to be updated so you need to wait for the stable version to get the uh, stable release uh, to get all those information so here is like a mesa my present monitor resolution and the uh, window protocol x11 and the desktop environment you should be getting all those information right here just type in like a about semicolon support to get all those information in order to download the plucky pluffin just use the lubuntu 25.04 plucky pluffin daily build 
and you can use the url or else uh, you can go back let me show you you just need to type in like a lubuntu or whatever the ubuntu flavor you want you just need to type in like that and uh, in front of it just type use the search term as a daily build and the first link uh, will be obviously the official website and the exact uh, search term lubuntu 25.04 check this uh, name and everything and uh, find the iso file so the file size is around like a 3.2 gb so here is the file just click on the download so i'm saying it again if you're a normal user it's better to stay away from these distributions because it's a development iso file don't even try it and uh, if you're a normal if you are like a distro hopper like a linux tester you can try it you already know how to try this in the virtual machine so you can try all those things and about the kernel we discussed everything and 6.12 is the latest lts version and uh, i think we got all this information from the browser let's close it and about the pre-installed applications and also the installer will be a bit of different you should be getting the same uh, newer installer let me show you that just open the uh, installer and here you should be seeing the calamaris installer 3.3.12 and choose the language and still you should be seeing the 24.10 oracular oral uh, in the installer but it's going to update everything and you should be seeing the same installation so you already know how to install uh, the in the calamaris installer so nothing is uh, complicated here customization everything is same nothing changed so i'm not going to install because uh, it's not the uh, right time to use and i need to make another video so that's the another thing and about the pre-installed applications you get a bunch of applications from the lxqt and uh, from the lubuntu they added just the uh, installer application other than that you should be seeing all the pre-installed applications so you get the same application so it's not uh, anything new here about the library of us, it's going to be updated to the latest version about the vlc it's going to be updated to the latest versions so there is literally nothing i thought there will be something changes but they are still fixing all those things and about the appearance so you get the uh, this kernel and uh, a 6.11 kernel and also some applications right now but uh, in the future it's going to be updated as soon as the stable one is released so here is the customization things so it's just like an educational purpose video other than that uh, there is literally nothing right now if you want to configure you can configure so you get the latest desktop environment so that's the new thing here and if you want to manage widgets you can manage the widgets if you want to add the panel you can add the panel and uh, there, let's check the like wallpapers and everything whether they added any wallpapers in the kubuntu i think they added some wallpapers in the yesterday's video so if you want to check it out you can check it out but in the lubuntu i don't think they added anything so i think i need to end the video right here because uh, there is literally nothing so that was the lubuntu 25.04 and uh, at the end let's check the uh, system resources so this is how it's performing it's consuming around like a 1.1 gb so uptime is almost 25 minutes i didn't see any issues or anything but i uh, i found the a uh, bit of lag in the beginning other than that uh, when we opened the about lxqt there was like a a bit of major lag but right now everything is working properly other than that i didn't see any issues so it's still working properly i don't see any major issues or anything like that so the work is still going so we can't say anything so that's the end of the video i think and uh, i'll be posting videos daily so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and turn on the notification i'll be posting the youtube shorts and also in the community post i'll be active every day so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification because uh, you should be getting all those information instantly and uh, that's it for the video thanks for watching peace out